Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do volume. Now volume is calculated as area of the base times the perpendicular height. If we take the following rectangular prism, we can use the base as the square figure. So what is the area of this side? It is going to be 3 times 3. That is the area of the base. Our height would be the 5. So we would have had it as times 5. Now 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. And then I am saying centimeter cubed. Now why cubed? Because we are using three dimensions. The length, the breadth and the width. Can you see? So it is three dimensions unlike area where we only use the length and the breadth. Now, how you would have learnt it would be length times breadth times height. That is how you would have learnt volume. Now that is also correct because if you look, length times breadth is the area of the base. Now let's do the same drawing but now we are taking our base as the bottom rectangular figure. So what is the area of our base here? The area of our base would be 5 times 3. And then what would our height be? Our height would be 3. Again, if you say 5 times 3, it's 15 times 3, which still gives us 45 centimeter cubed. Now, it is best to remember that volume is always equal to the area of the base times height. Because even when you're doing circles or when you're doing other shapes. As long as you got your base correct, you will be fine. It is important that you use this rule, especially if you are given a triangular based prism. The most common areas that we find pupils make a mistake with volume is when they are given triangular based prisms. Now, if you remember, I must find the area of the triangle, then I must times it by the height. You will not make this mistake. So it is safer to remember this volume formula and then you may also remember this one but remember always check am I working with the base and then times it by height. Thank you for watching.